paleo friends. I'm Chef Judy Gallagher and our paleo warrior today is all about using delicious local ingredients. Locally, Lisa and I went over to Butcher Block and 17th Street and I wish today we had smell a vision for the video. We are cooking up this unbelievable apple sausage that Scott made over at Butcher Block and I mean my whole kitchen smells like Thanksgiving. And as I break this down, I took the sausage out of the casing. You certainly don't have to. But the big chunks of fresh apple are just coming right out. And you can add two extra apples if you want, and just a pinch of cloves. Now, if you remember in the previous video, I'll walk you back through it. A little pea and a little olive oil. We sauteed celery, onions, and mushrooms, and unsulfide dried apricots all together. We added some chopped pecans and some chopped walnuts. And that made this beautiful Thanksgiving feast of a stuffing. No bread, so it's totally paleo. Added some fresh sage, delicious herbs, some fresh poultry seasoning. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this into a second recipe. I love when I cook paleo to think out of the box. Right now we have sweet potatoes steaming. We're gonna use those both for a spicy sweet potato and bacon soup and for a sweet potato and pecan casserole in a little while. For right now with the with the stuffing. So I now I want a little bit of this fat from the sausage. There's very little that actually comes off, but I want some of that in there. Don't be afraid to use some positive fats. You know, we're allowed to have duck fat. We're allowed to have several good things. Now let's talk about the sausage again. This is all natural, they use only all natural pork. You want to make sure that you're using butchers that are using all natural, organic grass-fed. Those are the key words that you need to look at, okay? So look at this sausage. This is really going to be an amazing, amazing stuffing. This is going to be very hearty. So we're going to take our acorn squash. We've just cut them in half. Beautiful acorn squash at a great price over at Yoder's Produce Market. So all we're going to do with this, we don't need to season the inside of the squash because we have the seasoning that's already blended and we don't want to get too salty. <coughs> Letting go of a little bit of salt is a really good idea. So look at this, a little fresh amber, maple syrup, make sure it's pure maple syrup, okay, no matter what. That's going to go in the bottom. Now, if all we were going to do is roast this squash just as it is, we would start it like this for a little bit, and then we turn it over and roast it on, um, on the cookie sheet upside down as well, and that really caramelizes it. When you cut your squash, they won't roll. They might tip to one side a little bit, but the way they are in nature, and this is the size you want to use. Don't get them too big. There's nothing that is going to help you about when it's too big will tend to tip over too much. Plus, this is the perfect one person serving is one of these squash. You can omit the sausage if you wanted to keep it as a vegetarian dish, but I have to tell you, paleo-wise, it's going to be paleo-perfect. See what I mean about tipping over? That one just tipped over, and that was totally my fault. Don't worry, we'll get to that in a little bit. But that's why you want to be careful, because see, that was a little guy that still tipped. So we're going to just load these up. They're going to go in an oven. 15 minutes uncovered, then I'm going to cover them. I start them uncovered because I don't want them to steam too much. Remember, you cover something, it tends to give that steam. So I'm going to keep loading these up. They're going to go in the oven. 15 minutes, then I'm going to cover, tent it with foil. They'll continue to roast. And then we are paleo warriors with stuffed acorn squash with delicious apple sausage stuffing with the aromas of Thanksgiving everywhere. You'll love this recipe. You'll use it all year long.